How could tax help recovery in the long term? Well, first, by not raising taxes too quickly. We need to be very cautious, we need to be patient, the pandemic is still around, the risks are looming, and what is important is the stimulus, is recovery, and tax should be used to help workers, to help all the players in the economy to make sure that we have recovery, which will be the best way to pay the debt back. Now, in the longer term, I think uh, the crisis is an opportunity to adapt the tax system to the new realities. What are the new realities? Capital income plays a bigger role than ever in the economy. Better tax capital should be the answer. We are at the digital age. We'll have to address the tax challenges of the digitalization of the economy, which may go beyond pure digital companies. And finally, and of course, uh, we have the uh, challenge of greening the economy and the price of carbon will be absolutely key there. There are ETS systems, but we should also play with taxes. So greening the economy uh, will be an answer for the long term. Short term stimulus, longer term fundamental adaptation of the tax system. Let us learn from the past. Let us learn from the last crisis. This crisis around, let us not cut public expenditure and raise the tax bill for the middle class. No, government should sustain the demand in the short run and make sure that the bill of the recovery is picked up by those that can afford it and don't pay their taxes now. That means the biggest polluters, the large corporations and of course the wealthy Europeans. The main tax responses must be based on simplification, digitalization and harmonization. We have to simplify tax rules and procedures in, in order to reduce administrative burdens for companies and unjustified burdens for citizens. We have to modernize our tax systems and reform the VAT rules in line with the challenges that come with digitalization. Finally, we have to continue to harmonize national rules to promote fair competition and combat fraud in a more efficient way. COVID-19 is having and will have a huge impact on the economy. It is time to help the industry and the employees, and this is being very costly in terms of public finance. The tax response to the pandemic should be based on three pillars. First, we need excessive profits taxes on those multinationals that have reaped extraordinary profits during the hardship of many. These profits have to be calculated as a share of the global profits and not on some fantasy figures declared by local subsidiaries. We need, second, a wealth tax to make sure that the broadest shoulders contribute. In times of economic recovery, imposing new taxes and compliance costs that goes along, it's not a good idea. Instead, the focus should be on taxes that previously haven't been collected. First of all, VAT and customs duties on goods coming from third countries. We, we do believe that uh, the priority should be to emplace, implement as soon as possible any tax credit, tax regime, uh, which can help to reboost to reboot sorry the, the the production and accelerate the, the the transition on a on a green business at the at the level of the uh, European uh, Union, such as uh, RED tax credit, tax innovation, uh, specific tax tax regime on 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 patents. In the crisis, we support business cash flow and employment through accelerated refunds wage supports and targeted relief. We will facilitate recovery through debt warehousing and realistic repayment schedules. But this is dependent on correct tax returns to ensure that short-term measures do not compromise core compliance in the longer term. It's necessary to set out new policies in order to support demand and deal with the future challenges of climate change and digitalization. Taxation should be able to direct private investment to those uh, priorities through, for instance, permanent tax reliefs, tax credits and the quicker refund systems. We urge governments to do their part in stimulating demand by introducing cash and tax incentives to boost travel and tourism. To assure long-term recovery of the European Union and the Member States, I firmly believe that it is essential to increase trust in the institutions, the EU and the Member States jointly. 
First, we must help businesses and citizens to get fast and relevant information based on their needs and through channels they prefer. We should reward honest taxpayers, we should grant benefits to them and we could invite them to be part in a committee which advises the government on tax policies, tax collection, tax administration, tax spending. And the membership in this committee should be very prestigious. Europe has done a great job in mobilizing billions to face the COVID-19 emergency. It is critical now that the recovery is not paid by austerity and cuts in public services. We need to keep combating unfair tax competition between the member states and to ensure that every taxpayer, every business and every individual pays their fair share. The overall tax policy should be such that the honest taxpayer is the one who is better off. First of all, we need a European border. That means that if profits are shifted in the form of dividends, royalty payments of interest outside the EU to low tax third countries, they are taxed upon departure. The second thing what we need is an effective minimum corporate tax rate so that the big corporates pay their fair share to society. It means that be sure that each uh, company uh, which are doing business in Europe are paying the right amount of, 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 of uh, tax and be sure that everybody is paying the same, uh, same level of tax to have a, a fair competition between, uh, between each, uh, each, uh, each business. And, and we need third, transparency to underpin these measures by having public country by country reporting voted under the German EU presidency and by ensuring public statistics on automatic information exchange. We should focus on bad tax jurisdictions within Europe, so of other European member countries and not on outside of third party countries to avoid the perception that European member states are hypocrites. The EU must stop harmful tax competition. This deprives countries in the EU and the Global South of resources to fund the recovery and essential public services. Having said that, I think we should focus on the code of conduct. We should try to make it publicly known, broadly discussed, and maybe at a later stage also link specific benefits to countries or businesses um, which comply to this code of conduct. The EU should make the fight against tax haven in the EU more effective, should review the criteria of the EU tax haven list and should update the code of conduct for business taxation. In order to do so from a tax perspective, we need to keep combating unfair tax competition between the member states and to ensure that every taxpayer, every business and every individual pays their fair share. We need instead a fairer taxation. We need that those that can, can afford it contribute more. This means taxing the most profitable corporation, taxing speculative financial products and taxing pollution. We need excess profits taxes, a wealth tax and public transparency on those measures to rebuild trust and confidence of honest and compliant taxpayers that others are meeting their obligations too. We welcome the intention of the European Commission to modernize the tax system and lower the burden, especially for companies that run their activities cross-border. For a healthy economy, fair and predictable tax system is essential. The action plan presented by the Commission is a refreshing roadmap for the next two or three years. The pandemic should not prevent progress. Now is the time as businesses recover and reassess their operations to proceed with digitalization. It's necessary to set out new policies in order to support demand and deal with the future challenges of climate change and digitalization. Taxation should be able to direct private investment to those uh, priorities through, for instance, permanent tax reliefs, tax credits and the quicker refund systems. 
the top priorities of the European Union should be uh, to increase tax cooperation between authorities within the member states and third countries by, of course, making use of new technologies such as data analytics and data sharing. We should strive to achieve tax certainty and work against unfair competition. We must tackle tax evasion across all business models. We must make the effort to find global solutions to global challenges.